So many of you have asked, how do I set the first layer so perfectly on my printer each time? Well, it doesn't come by accident. You have to work at it. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. Now this works for me. You can change it around a little bit, but it works for me. So you can try this first. And then if you need to adjust it, you can do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over here and we're gonna put the hit temperature PLA. You let the temperature get up to 210 and 60. So the next thing I'm gonna do is load the filament. And I always do this before calibration. So here's the filament. I cut that at a 45 degree angle. Push it in as far as it'll go, gently. You don't wanna force it, but just you can bang it up and down a little bit. Just make sure it's touching the gears. All right, All right so the next thing I'm gonna do is come over to the pad. And to load the filament, I'm gonna hit this macro button because I already have them all set up. And you can see where it says load filament. This is how you properly load the filament. Then you'll have no grinding or no, no problems with the extruder. So you hold this in a little bit. Again, gently just hold it against the gears. And then come over here and hit load filament. And you can see it's going in. You can look at my fingers, see it's going in there. And you can see it coming out the bottom. You can see I had yellow in there previously. So then go ahead and hit that button again, load it one more time. And again, you can see it coming out. Now it's coming out all white. And just let that finish up. It'll take a couple of seconds. Let it go through with the process of loading. And then you can see it getting thinner, and that means it's all done. But it's still gonna drool, so even though you take this off, put this aside, we don't need this anymore, it's still gonna drool, as you can see. And that's normal, it's gonna do that every time. All right, so I'm just gonna remove the drool again, and we're gonna put the, uh, the sensor on, the level sensor. Put the wire up through here. Connect it. And just make sure that the wire isn't getting hung up on anything. So then we're gonna go back, go to configuration, bed level, calibrate. Again, make sure the probe is on there. And then hit continue. And again, just watch the wire, make sure it doesn't get caught up on anything. So I'm not gonna show you this whole process, um, but I'll come back when this is done. All right, so then you can see once it's done the bed level, you can see that it comes back to the original menu. Now you can see that it turned off the heat. So we wanna turn that back on. So go to temperature, PLA, let it heat, heat up to 60. I'm more concerned about the bed. You wanna leave the bed at 60. Then go back, configuration, bed level. Now we're gonna do the bed mesh. Again, that's gonna take a few minutes, so I'm gonna let Kylie show you what it looks like originally, and then we'll carry on uh, after it's through. It is slow moving down though, I gotta tell you that. Well, this bed mesh I think does, I don't know, 30 points or 32 or some large number of points so that it makes sure that the bed level is level. All right, we'll turn this back on once uh, it's completed. All right, so you can see that it's completed the bed mesh. Now again, I'm gonna take off the level sensor because we're all done with that. And before we do the next step, again, we're gonna make sure that the bed is at temperature and you can see it's starting to come down again. 
because it does shut off each time. So go to that, that, and we'll get that back up to 60. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is get ready to set the Z height. But before we do that, wait till the nozzle is up to temperature. Make sure the bed is at 60. And you wanna get some pliers of some sort. And you wanna remove the ooze because that's gonna affect where it sits on the paper. So just remove the ooze. Let it ooze for a couple minutes, then remove it. And you can see there's no more ooze. Then we're gonna get a piece of printer paper or copy paper. Put it on here. Again, the bed is warm, the nozzle is warm. Now we're gonna bring this down, bring the Z down. So we'll go to configuration, bed level, move Z. And again, make sure the nozzle is off, otherwise it's gonna crash. Hit continue. Again, it takes a little while to get down there, but we'll be patient. So this is gonna be the most critical part. And this is where touch comes into play. It, there's no exact number. There's no exact way to do it. This is the way that works for me. All right, so here's the important part. Get a piece of paper, like I showed, said before, move, put it in there, and you can see it's very loose. So then, again, make sure the temperature is up on both. Go to configuration, bed level, now we already moved the Z, that's where the Z is. Now we go to calibrate. So I start off at 0.1 over here and bring it down step by step until this paper gets a little bit tight. So I know I can get to almost three on mine, but on yours will be different. So just take your time and do it slowly. There it is, it's stuck right there. So I want to move it back up. Now it's free again. Now I'm going to go to 0.01 and move it down. Again, slowly. Because when you're done this process, you want to end up coming down. You want to end up using this arrow. Never end up with the up arrow because all the slack in the printer will show next time you bring it down. Always end up in the, in the down arrow. And if you go too far, if it's too tight, Move it up a few, then come down slowly again so that you end up using this arrow right here. So right here is pretty good. You can see I can drag it with my finger both ways. But I want to make it a little tight. I'm going to come down again one more. So I can drag it this way, but I can just barely push it in. So it still drags. If I fold the paper a little bit like this, I can make it drag, but it's pretty tight. So you want to be able to drag it this way, but not so much pushing it. You want to make sure that it's hanging up when you push it. So this is perfect for me. Go back, 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 and then home. So the next thing I'm going to do is the second most important thing, and that's put down the first layer and then do the fine tuning. So right now, obviously I have that all set up with the filament in there because remember it was oozing, so we know the filament is there. So I put a USB disc in here and I have a file on here that does a first layer print. So I'm gonna go to print my USB disc and I have it as the 76 millimeter by 76 millimeter by 0.2 square. I'm gonna choose that and then print. That'll take a second and then we're gonna pause here and then when it starts to print, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so you can see it's starting to do the square and you can see the first layer looks good just the way it is, but we're gonna do a couple of things so that I can show you how to adjust it. So you can see it's starting to do the square, which is the first layer. And I'll tell you, that looks pretty good just the way it is because I'm very familiar with how the paper should feel. But what I'm gonna do now is I made this square big enough, this file big enough, so that I'm gonna do some fine tuning here 
and you're going to see the difference. So on your pad, you go to fine tuning. And what we're going to change is the Z height up and down here right here. And you can go from 0.1 to 0.05, 0.01 to 0.05. So I'm going to leave it on 0.05 and I'm going to show you once I can get my finger in there, that this looks pretty good just the way it is. You feel it. If it feels rough, like, you know, you can feel the plastic, then it's too low. If, it, if it's too high, then you'll see it not sticking properly. So let's make it a little rough. So I want to go down 0.05, maybe twice. Now you're going to see a change here. It's going to stop looking rough. Okay, Kylie, you can zoom in on that and you'll be able to see it. it's looking a little rough. See it? That's because the nozzle is too close to the plate. We'll let that go a couple of seconds so that you can really see and feel what it's like. It's all feel. You got to feel it. This feels beautiful, but you can see that that area that it's printing now is not going to feel so good because it's rough. That means the nozzle is too low, which is what we made it do here. And you can also visually see the difference. Kylie, raise it up a little bit and show here, you can see the light. This is lighter and you can see the, it's a little bit darker on the, uh, see what, it's look, what it looks like? Zoom in on that, Kylie, when that gets to the thing over here. You can see how rough that looks. All right, so let's change it back to, we'll bring it up twice. That'll put it back to where it was before it started to be too low. And you'll see a difference here. You can already see a change, but we'll wait a couple of seconds and you'll see a more dramatic change. And again, if you're, if you're looking at that or feeling it and it still feels too rough, Raise it up again. Don't be afraid to raise it up. 0.05 at a time until it looks good. And if you get too high, it'll tell you because it's not going to stick properly. And when you touch it, it's going to be too round. It's not going to be nice and flat like this. That's looking pretty good. So let's raise it up a little more so you can see the difference. Let's go up three, three times. Now you're gonna see, there should be a variation in color because it's gonna be thicker because we just raised it up. But anyway, you get the point. That's how you change things. This is what you gotta do to get it perfect. Just setting it with the paper doesn't always work. And it's gonna vary with the uh, filament you use as well. So again, feel, look at it and feel. If it feels smooth and it looks good to you, that's fine. This is too rough. Now you can see the other one is getting a little darker because it's thicker, but it still looks good. So in this case, thicker is good. Can you see that kind of, you can you zoom, zoom in on that in there? All right, right here, see it? Looks perfect. Let's raise it up a little more. Raise it up three more times. Now you'll see another variation in color. But anyway, I think you get the point. That's how you fine tune. And you gotta do this, every time you calibrate, you've gotta do this. If you change the nozzle, even some filaments are more dense or more not dense as, as others. So you might have to do this. So it's worthwhile doing, you know, taking five minutes here is much worth getting a great print rather than having it fail all the time and then you trying to figure out what's going on. That feels pretty good right there. But again, remember what I told you, right now I ended going up. You don't wanna do that. So I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. When you're actually calibrating it, you wanna end coming down because there's always backlash in the printer and you wanna end it coming down so that it'll always come down to the same spot. All right, I think that's about it. I think you get the idea. Okay, Kylie can show you this one more time, get a close-up of that, and you can see the, the different 
things that we did. I always touch on it like that and that focuses it. You see the difference? All right, I think that's it. I think you have the idea. If you want to get a hold of this file, I mean, it's just something I made. I can send it to you, just send me an email. All right, so that's it. That's how I make this thing print perfectly. First layer, every time.